Hey everybody, it's Friday. It's time for Facebook Friday. Let's see if I get my camera right. Hope you guys have had a good week. We have had a good week here. I'm excited for today's projects. We are using the On The Farm bundle this week. I'm interested to know how many of you have bought this or have it on your wish list. Um, it is a really cute bundle. Uh, it, I think that this bundle can be used for lots of occasions, um, but especially for kid cards and baby cards, um, but not just those. I think, you know, birthdays, all kinds of things. So this is what we're doing today. And I'm really also featuring the paper that goes with it. There is free uh, designer series paper you can choose that coordinates with it. So I'm gonna show you some of the features of that today too. All right, I see you guys jumping on. Let's see if I can find me. All right, there I am. So maybe I can see your comments. All right, hello. Okay, before I get started, I wanna show you guys um, some cards that I got this week. I love when I see a Taco Fiesta card. I um, spent some time on Pinterest last night penning all the Taco Fiesta cards I could find into my Taco Fiesta Pinterest board. So if you're looking for ideas, go find my board. It's got lots of ideas. Um, but this came from Luann and she was really funny inside. She sent me the cover of her stamp case and she said, may I have your autograph por favor with salsa on top. I'm having mucho fun using your stamp set. Muchos gracias, Luann. And then she says, I guess I remember some of my Spanish from sixth grade, which made me laugh. So Luann, thank you very much. I love the texture that you put on your little pinata. Super cute. Then this one, I got was so, so, so cool um, from Janice. And Janice, you've actually inspired me to try something um, with my taco. Now, I don't know if you guys can see, but look at her chips. Look how realistic they look, right? So I'm like, okay, I see what you did there. And I'm going to try that with my taco. So I'm doing a presentation in a couple weeks um, for somebody's team using my taco stamp set. So I'm definitely gonna try that with the tacos. I'll let you guys know how it goes, but super cute. Everything looks very realistic, um, really cute, and a very sweet message. Thank you, Janice, very much. I've started a little display over here in my office too of all my Taco Fiesta cards. Um, just exciting to see them in action after it lived in my head for so long, you know? And then this one was really special. This one is from Chad, who is my demonstrator development manager at Stampin' Up, and he sent me this card. It said, uh, congratulations, our next incentive trip is to Mexico, just so happens. And he said, congratulations on earning the incentive trip. And so uh, he said he was using my stamp set for all of his congratulations cards um, for the, the incentive trip this year. So yay, I was very excited. So thank you, Chad. I mean, I know he's not watching, but it was, it was fun. And then Chris, you guys know how much I love Chris's cards. She sent me these two cards featuring um, the rain or shine sweet you know the little animals in the rain and um really cute um actually the stamp is not rain or shine it's the paper what is that stamp called now i can't remember um isn't this from now i have to look it up now i'm like wait a minute the paper itself is a star that paper is gorgeous um but now i know that's not the stamp set that goes with that is it it's not. Next month's, <laughs> I'm gonna look through every page of the catalog while we're talking. Um, next month's Club Create is gonna feature that adorable rain or shine suite. I'm almost done designing it. Yeah, here it is. Covered in Sunshine is the stamp set, page 37. And it goes really well. See right here? That's what she used and she made a rainbow and then she used the rain or shine paper to go with it. Very, very cute, Chris. I am sticking that over in my Rain or Shine collection of cards because it's a great idea. All right, let's switch things around. Has anybody checked to see if the blog post went up? I scheduled it last night. One never knows if it went up and if the PDF is right. Well, it doesn't look like it went up, does it? I don't know. It's not going up. Hmm. All right, well, I can fix that while we're talking. So if you guys have never joined me for Facebook Friday, um, I pick a product 
each week and then design three projects with it. Oh, I didn't push publish. That's why. <laughs> you have to push publish for it to go live. Okay, now let's see. So this week's, this there we go. This week's product is the, and it's not down on the farm. I keep calling it down on the farm. It's on the farm. Again, they didn't ask me. They didn't ask me. They didn't ask me my opinion when naming stamps. <laughs> on the farm. I'm going to have to fix that because it's on the farm, not down on the farm. Anyhow, that's what we're going to do. We're going to make three projects with that. But I want to run through a few things first with you. Um, and then we'll get started. I think I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera around. Let me move some stuff um, because I want to show you guys some things. Down on the farm is it a country song if it's not it should be down on the farm is probably a children's book too it just sounds really familiar down on the farm okay let me get you guys situated and then i will let's see if i can get caught up with my facebook oh it's very crooked okay how about that let's see there we go okay um, let me show you this one's Paper Pumpkin. It's super, super cute. It's called Keys to My Heart, and it's uh, nine cards. I haven't made all of them yet. I've only made one of each, uh, but look how adorable they are. Those key die cuts are the cutest. You get a stamp set, if I can get it out. You get nine cards with their envelopes and an ink spot. Man, I just got paper, little crumbs of paper all over the place. Plus, there is this add-on kit right here that coordinates with it. So it, the, the Paper Pumpkin has cards. So if you're a card person, I think we all are card people, right? Um, but if you're not, if you want 3D projects is what I'm saying. There's this additional add-on kit called the Heart Boxes. And it coordinates really well. And they're very easy to put together. And you can get these if you're a paper, pup paper pumpkin subscriber and you don't buy them from the paper pumpkin site, you buy them from the regular, you know, Stampin' Up! site. They're item 162417. They're $11 and you get 10 boxes. So if you're interested in those boxes, you'll find them online. If you're interested in paper pumpkin, every month I get an email from somebody that says, their card was compromised or their payment didn't go through and they missed their paper pumpkin. It happens all the time. You guys know how the credit cards get compromised and then they don't work. So if that's you and you need a paper pumpkin, I've got a few extra, let me know. Um, if you've missed out and you want one, just email me. I also have, um, I think I, oh no, I think I'm out of last month's paper pumpkin. I can't remember the little boxes. They were so cute. Yeah, I think I'm out of that one. All right, this month's all-Star Tutorial PDF features the Fancy Flora suite of products in the Spring Mini Catalog. This is 12 video tutorials by 12 different Stampin' Up! demonstrators. Um, we come together every month to create this PDF. Each of us creates one tutorial. So you get a variety of styles and projects. Um, most are cards. Some are 3D, but majority is our cards. I always try to do a 3D project just so that we have at least one. Um, you get this for free when you shop with me. If you spend $50 online with me, you get this for free. I email it out about once a week. Um, and if you don't get it and you think you earned it, if you spent $50 online, like an online order, please let me know. Um, for whatever reason, some of them don't arrive. Um, you can also get this in my PDF store for $15. Um, and then January is one of the only months that we open a, the subscription for this. And when you subscribe, it gets delivered to your mailbox immediately every month on the 1st. And um, it's $15 a month. And then you get your sixth month for free. Um, if you're interested in that on today's PDF and today's blog post, there is a link to the details on that right there. All right. All right. If you have ordered this week, I haven't emailed them out yet this week. They're coming. Um, I do it usually either on Fridays or Mondays. Try to anyway. Okay. Now, speaking of fancy flora, I have a kit. Now that's just a PDF, right? 
PDF with video links. This is an actual kit. This is Club Create. It is my monthly subscription kit that I do, um, and it's $39 a month. You are automatically charged through PayPal or your credit card, and then each month I send you a kit full of beautiful cards um, or projects, mo mostly cards, sometimes a 3D. Um, you get about $20 in product, as well as the make and takes, and that $39 also includes shipping. Um, it comes with a PDF and a video. Uh, I have spots open. This is February's Club Create Kit. I have spots open. So if you've been wanting to join, um, you can do that uh, by going to my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com. Click the Club Create tab at the top and the details are there. This is a PDF and a video completely separate from the one that I just showed you. They're not the same projects. They're completely different. And that PDF slash video is available in my PDF store as well. Okay, um, somebody's saying I'm frozen. I was totally ignoring all of you guys, what you're saying. Um, does anyone know the size of the heart boxes Erica just showed? Like the inside size, um, Rachel? Let's see, they're small, like a little, like a, like a little Tic Tac, not even a regular Tic Tac size box. Um, two, about two and a half, and by one and a half. All right, and then the heart itself is, you know, about three and a half by four. All right, next, what do I wanna tell you? Oh, okay, paper shares. My paper share deadline um, originally is was today, but if I put in an order tomorrow, it's the same as if I put in an order on Monday. So I'm just gonna hold it open until Sunday night. If you didn't get in on the paper share and you wanna get in on the paper share, please email me for that link. You can get um, either six by six or 12 by six, and you get a sheet of all the new paper in the spring catalog as well as celebration paper. And if you get the six by 12 share, I'm gonna give you some of the new host paper as well. All right, so that deadline will close Sunday night. Um, there's also a link for the details here on today's PDF. If you wanna you know, see exactly what's included, what are your options, that link is there for you. But you have to email me, let me know if you wanna register. Um, for some reason I was thinking these prices weren't right. 46 and 66, maybe they are, or is it 48 and 68? I don't know, it's on the blog post. It'll tell you the details. I always get things wrong, it seems like when I write them down. <laughs> okay, next, let's talk about Taco Fiesta. You guys, this has been <laughs> the hardest class I have ever had to prep for. It is the most tedious class. Punches and dies like no other class I've ever done before. It is taking me a long time to prep, but if you have ordered already, hopefully by the end of next week, I'll have them ready to go out, okay? So I had to turn this kit registration off because you guys were amazing. You blew me away. We had way more people register for this class than any class ever before. So I had to turn it off because I didn't want to get so many that I couldn't get the class out in the time frame that I promised. So now that I'm on the back end of it, packing the class kits, I'm ready to open it up again. Um, many of you have asked if you can get a kit, and I said I would do another round in February. So I will open registration for the same Taco Fiesta kit class next week. It won't be different, so if you've already registered this month, it's the same class. I'm just opening it again for people who didn't get in to this class, okay? Um, option with or without the signed autograph stamp set, um, you'll get some product and you'll get six projects. The PDF slash video are available in my PDF store right now if you are wanting just that. And the PDF store you can find by clicking the shop link at the top of my blog. Um, okay, Patricia, so those were right. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you guys know. Um, that includes the shipping of $8. Okay, good. Thank you very much. All right. I think we're ready. So celebration is right now. And that means um, from now and through the end of February, if you spend $50, you get something free from this catalog. 
and we have level one products that you get for free, right? So like the owls we did last week, this adorable carrot set that has been blowing me away online. I didn't even think that I was gonna be in love with it, but I'm in love with it. And I didn't put it on my schedule and now I wish I had because it's super cute. Um, there's a bunch of different papers. Guys, remember that this is all while supplies last and I'm getting a little nervous um, because we've, we're, you know, we're more than halfway through January and every year something sells out and then everybody cries and gets upset. So make sure you're getting the things that you want in a timely manner. There's also these level two products that you can get that are free with $100. The This stamp set and this amazing giant 12 by 12 pack of paper, okay? Um, did I say the kids are shipping next week? Yes, that's correct. Nicole is right. That is the goal. They'll be shipped next week some point. Um, Monday, I'm going to get them all packed. And then Tuesday, I have to work on Facebook Friday projects, and I'm going to print labels. And then Wednesday, I'm going to pack them up. So Thursday or Friday next week, tacos will be shipping. <laughs> that sounds funny. Tacos will be shipping next week. Um, the other part of celebration is this cute little machine, and we're going to use it today. I didn't want to use it because it was so pretty, but I made myself. So now I, my plates aren't aren't pristine anymore. But this is the Boho Blue Mini Cut and Emboss Machine, and you can get it as part of your starter kit. Um, when you buy the starter kit, what did I just, oh, hello, it's right here. When you buy the starter kit during celebration, you have three options. The option that includes this is $125. And you get this plus $175 in product. You can also choose the white mini cut and emboss machine if you don't like blue. Um, and then there's another option that doesn't include this. Maybe you already have one, you don't need one, you don't like blue, whatever. Um, if you wanna get the starter kit without this, it's $99 and you still get to pick out $175 of product of your choice. Okay, so I just wanted to mention that. Um, this little machine is super cute. I like the machine. I think it's easier to use than the big machine. It doesn't require as much muscle. You know, sometimes I actually have to, on my big one, I have to put my arm on it like that because it's, you know, it's a lot to crank through. And the little one, I don't ever have to do that. It just goes through really well. And if you ever have trouble, you guys, with the white plate, you know, it comes with two different plates. It comes with the white plate and then the gray plate for the bottom. For whatever reason, the gray plate works way better for me than the white plate. Sometimes the white plate doesn't catch as well. Um, my other one doesn't have any trouble with it, but for some reason this one was having trouble. Just switch it over for this gray plate and you won't have any problems. I think one is for embossing folders. One is for, yeah, this one's for embossing folders, but it still works with your dies. Okay. Okay. All right. So you guys, oh my gosh, laying in bed last Friday night and the week before, same thing. I realized that I have been forgetting to do door prizes. Just totally forgot since we've came back from Christmas break. So I have a prize this week. The problem was there was no prize in my cabinet. And so whenever I'd get everything out for Facebook Friday, there was nothing to remind me. So now I'll remember, I apologize, I haven't been giving away prizes. I have the Desert Details Bundle, which is a great bundle to go along with your Taco Fiesta stamp set. Um, and I will be giving it away next week to somebody who shares the video. You can either share it on Facebook or on YouTube, either one. Just make sure you let me know in the comments that you shared. And I will pick somebody at random next week. All right, and then the last thing before we start stamping is um, if you go to my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com, you'll find today's all, th all three of today's projects. Um, and there is a PDF under the last photo that has all the measurements and supplies that I'm using, as well as all the things that I just talked about. There's also a host code that goes with today's um, projects. If you like the projects we do today, and you want them, I will be happy to send them to you for free with a online order of anything you want, as long as your order is $35 or more, uses this host code and is in by Monday at midnight, then I will send you a make and take kit that looks like this for the projects that we're doing today. Um, you will need, obviously, the bundle. I don't do any stamping, that's, that's a big no-no. We don't do any stamping, you have to do your own stamping. Um, so you'll need this bundle to complete those projects, as well as ink and adhesive 
um, or use, which I have. But these are pretty, I don't know, you need the you need the farm stamp set, I think, probably for these. Well, I guess you could use other things, but it's so cute, you guys. This is so, so cute. But anyway, put this in, put your order in, put your orders in. I'm having trouble with words today. Put your orders in by Monday at midnight. Order anything you want at stampinup.com. And on Tuesday, I get up and I count and I start cutting and packing and ship them on Wednesday. Okay, we are ready. So let me show you what is so special and cute about this bundle. So you have the stamps, right? And you have the dies that match the stamps. But then you also have these little teeny tiny dies, little rabbit, little ducks, geese, pig, cow. So cute, right? You also have a windmill, some hills. We're going to use most of those today. Um, but What's exciting is that in the celebration catalog, if you buy this, it's $51.25, then you get something for free. So you can pick the farm paper. And the dies will cut out the images on the paper. So like, let's say we're going to actually use the pig and the cow today. If you need to make a card and you don't have time to stamp and color, just grab your paper and your dies and run it through and you're done. Super easy. Yesterday's card, let me grab it. Yesterday's blog postcard, that's what I did. Nothing on here is stamped except for the sentiment. Those were all cut from the designer series paper. Even these hills back here are that paper. So to me, it's a no brainer. You need both the paper and the bundle, right? I really think you do. This piece right here would make a great scrapbook page or like a home decor piece like in a nursery wouldn't that be cute i think it's very cute um the there's like a busy side of each piece and then on the back of each piece there's a pattern like more of a monochromatic or geometric type pattern we've got chicken wire flowers i think that looks like little roads or maybe crops and we've got like burlap and then plaid, which we used in December for Christmas when I had it before it went live. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do today. And I think I've done enough talking, so let's get started. Let me pull over my tray and make some space. So how are you guys? Yes, Christy, I was just gonna say, I don't, how do they decide which is side A and which is side B? I guess side A is like the more, busy side and then B is like the, I don't know. I always seem to like the B side of the paper better than the A side, I don't know. All right, so here's the card we're gonna make. We're gonna use this vegetable print paper, which I think is so cute. Somebody made a Taco Fiesta card using this paper recently. I can't remember who it was. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so smart. It goes really well with the vegetable pa paper. We're gonna use um, the little tiny dies to make some little critters um, for our little farm scene, but we're also gonna do some stamping. I'm gonna stamp the barn and um, the hay bale. Now I just saw a card today where they had cut out the farm. Let me pull that paper over here. She had a... Uh, cut the barn and the silo from this paper because I was like why does hers look bigger than mine I realized she just cut it out from the paper isn't it cute so even that you could just you know the easy button <laughs> right I mean really it's the easy button all right I'm gonna stamp the cloud in smoky slate and I have already done the other die cutting so we don't have to do that and then we're going to do this sentiment from all of us and i'm just going to stamp it right up here the sentiments in this set are kind of vague i feel like um we've got from all of us which i mean that could be anything right today is a good day and thinking happy thoughts of you so i really feel like the sentiments can be used for a variety of projects you know, occasions. So if it, you know, like I, I, in the next card, I use, I'm using a baby sentiment from the Charming Sentiments bundle. So, you know, I always remind you guys that you've got lots of sentiments. Don't ever feel like you're 
um, stuck using whatever's in the stamp set um, because there's lots of fun, creative, other sentiments out there, especially happy birthday. You know, sometimes we just need a card that says happy birthday or thank you. All right, so I started with light cherry cobbler and I'm gonna use dark to just add a little bit of dark underneath each of those lines like that. Um, the reason I'm using cherry cobbler, that's what I was gonna tell you, is because this paper, the color in this paper is cherry cobbler. Now you can look in the catalog and the page that has the paper, it will tell you what the colors are in the paper. Sometimes there's even more colors in the paper that aren't listed in the catalog. So on the back, let me grab it again. On the back of your paper pack, I don't know if you guys have ever noticed, it'll tell you all the colors that are in your paper. Balmy Blue, Cajun Craze, Cherry Cobbler, Daffodil Delight, Garden Greed, Pear Pizzazz, Hair Sand, Soft Suede. So then, you know, the beauty of the Stampin' Up! product line is that if it says Cherry Cobbler in the, is in the DSP, you know that your Cherry Cobbler cardstock, your Cherry Cobbler embellishments, your Cherry Cobbler ink, everything is going to coordinate perfectly. So, you know, I think that's pretty cool. All right. Now, we don't have, do we have any Cherry Cobbler... I think during Christmas we had some cherry cobbler embellishments. I don't think right now we have anything specifically cherry cobbler we have in the past before. All right, now you guys, we've talked about post-it tape before. These dies and these images are very little and for whatever reason, <laughs> I cannot keep them in place where they need to go. So I'm just gonna take some post-it tape and stick it down. And I'm not even gonna try to run it through and hope for the best. I'm just gonna use my post-it tape. I linked post-it tape today on my blog if you need to get some. It's like six bucks from Amazon. And it's one of my most used tools. All right, the cloud I think will be okay. All right, see how easy this thing is? I don't have to put my arm on it to hold it down. All right, put your dies back as soon as you're done. As we all know, I like to lose my little dies. I actually lost the chicken yesterday and was panicking. Found it stuck under something. Um, we're gonna use craft, a craft tag. All right, I think craft goes well with kind of the farmy, you know, like a, like a paper bag. It looks like a paper bag. Um, we have, did I lose my goose? No, here's my goose. We've got a little tiny white goose and then two um, Blushing Bride piggies. And I'm gonna take one and flip them over so that they're facing different directions. Now to give them just a little bit more detail so that they're just not like a, oh, that was kind of a big eye. So that they're not just, you know, shadow, a shadow outline. I'm giving them an eye. And then for our goose, I've got a pumpkin pie marker. And I'm gonna add his beak and his feet. Okay. All right, now let me grab grid paper. And we're gonna stamp these hills on our craft. On our craft tag. And crumb cake ink. We don't have craft ink. Crumb cake is a good option. And I'm gonna start kind of halfway up. And I'm gonna take the hills and just stamp them kind of overlapping each other a little bit like that. Okay, look, let's see if we can fill in a little bit right there. Yes, oh, we can fill in like that. Doesn't have to be perfect. Nobody's gonna look and say, oh, that line's overlapping that line. No, they're not. All right, of course I didn't get any of my adhesive out, so hold on, hold please. 
this paper, I think, can be used like the vegetable paper, you know, you could use it with a taco set, you could use it with a carrot set. It has lots of options. And then the, the plaid was great at Christmas. Here's some florals. The little blue and yellow color combination I think is so, so cute. All right, put the farm, the barn on with a dimensional and we'll put the, that's way too much. We'll put the, um, what is this called? Windmill on with liquid glue. I should have used an adhesive sheet. It would have been much easier. Now I've got glue on my hands. We're gonna put the hay bale. The hay bale is, a is as big as the barn. <laughs> Perspective's a little bit off, but whatever. It's still cute, nobody cares. Um, and then we'll get some mini dimensionals for our little critters. And I'm gonna put a piggy here and a piggy here and our goose can go right there. And one thing I like to do with these teeny tiny little pieces is get my take your pick tool and pick them up that way. All right, and then last but not least, we'll put our little cloud up here like that. Cute, right? So cute, if I do say so myself. Now, do I have, hmm, do I not have my good scissors over here? Hold on, let's see where they are. Well, these aren't my good scissors, but these will have to do. All right, this is the Evening Evergreen window pane ribbon. Remember when this came out last year with the tulips, but it works really well with the farm as well. I'm gonna tie that through. This tag was cut with the tailor-made tag dies. And um, it's the largest of the set that has the straight top. It has a curl, it has one set of tags that has kind of like a curvy top and one set that has a straight. You could use either one, they both work. Okay, now we are ready to put our card together. Let's bring over our cherry cobbler card base and our vegetable paper with our little, do you guys think that those are crops? Or, is, or I don't know, what do you think? I think, I don't know. They look a little roads, road lines to me as well. And then we've got this piece that we're gonna put across here. Thank you, Joan. Like that, let's go a little bit higher. Okay, some dimensionals. I have a bowl for my dimensionals and I'm not putting them in here. <laughs> one by one, I'll pick them up. Right there. All right, and then we probably need to cut these just a little bit. And then last but not least, I stamped that sentiment on here. And I'm gonna get my trimmer and just trim it, just a little strip like that. And we're gonna stick it coming from like that. And we are done. So cute. Now I have another card on Monday with a video that uses some of the little critters again. They're just so cute. What do you guys think? You know, the thing about this paper is it's very busy. So you have to be careful with how you put things on very busy paper, you know? Um, I think we kept it simple enough. We stayed within the colors that we used. Sometimes when paper's super busy, we 
we just keep adding things to it and then it's just too much. But that, I think that craft tag kind of neutralizes that area and makes it not too terribly busy. Okay, I'm glad you guys like it. Let me move these and let me get my dimensionals. All right, now the next card is a baby card because that's the first thing I thought of when I saw the little piggies is to make a baby card because this die actually cuts out the mama and the baby together. All right, so we're gonna use the die. This is from that paper pack. We're gonna use the die to cut them out. And I'm gonna show you a trick how you can make it so that it looks like they're blending in there with your mud puddle, okay? But let's make our mud puddle first. Did you ever think you would make a mud puddle <laughs> for your card? Well, yes, leave it to me to make a mud puddle. Where did my grid paper go? Here it is, no? Yeah. All right, well, we're using the layering diorama dies, soft suede, and I'm gonna take my blending brush and some soft suede ink, and I'm just gonna kinda go around the edges, make it extra muddy. Mud puddle, we've had pigs in the past. We have, we have another pig stamp set right now too, right? So maybe you have made mud puddle in, in, the, <laughs> in the past for your cards. Um, or you have pictures of your kids in the mud, you wanna scrapbook it, here you go. Here's a mud puddle. Now I'm gonna take my dark um, soft suede, stamp and blend and just flick some of that ink on there like that. All right, now let's, we're gonna stamp the sentiment. Now this stamp set doesn't have a baby sentiment. So we're using Charming Sentiments, my friend Lisa's million dollar stamp set, which has dies that coordinate. Um, so is it this one? Yes, this one. So the dies will cut out the words, hallelujah. Man, don't, don't we wish they would just give us dies for all of our sets? I mean, that would just make everything so much easier. Of course, it would make everything more expensive too. <laughs> Yeah, I know, that would probably bust our budgets, right? All right, now, the one thing I found with these words, this charming blessing, or charming sentiments um, bundle, is that the die, the dies are really close to the word. You don't have a lot of wiggle room. So I'm using Post-it tape again, and I am looking in the four corners at all four of those letters to make sure that I get them just right. And then I'm gonna stick that tape like that. Um, it doesn't give you a big border, so you gotta be real careful when you put that around there. All right, let's see how we did. Pretty good, pretty good. See how there's just really not a very big border around it. All right, now for our piggies. Oh, hello, let's bring that back. Good thing it only weighs like, how much does this thing weigh? It is not heavy at all. It weighs like probably, I don't know. Well, maybe it maybe more than a pound. It's very light. You know what? I'm gonna use post-it tape for this too. I just, I just gonna make sure. All right, so your die is gonna cut out the mama and the baby together. They can't be separated. Sorry, you gotta keep them together. Now, let me show you what my dilemma was when I, well, there go the plates. Do we need that for the next project? Darn it, we do. Okay, I'm gonna have to get down there and get them. Um, so see how it's white and it sticks on, it just doesn't look like it's blending in, right? Okay, well, we can easily fix that by taking the soft suede dark and just, coloring around them. Now you're going to think, okay, Erica, wait a minute. That seems like a lot of work. It really isn't. Especially if you just use this brush tip end, it just kind of fills that color in right up to that black edge of the pig. And I don't know, it just blends everything in and it looks, the pig just pops right off of that. 
mud so much better. All right, so just take your marker and just slowly go around the edge, filling it in. I dropped a coffee mug back behind this table earlier today. Something's off. Something in the universe is pulling things down off my table. It has nothing to do with me being a klutz. I know that that's what you guys are thinking, but that's not what it is. <laughs> not at all. Okay. So now, see how that looks? So, close the marker. Bring over your blob of mud. And when I put him, them, her and him, her and her, I don't know, them on here, then you, it just kind of all disappears and all you see are the pigs. It's pretty clever. I think it's pretty clever. Now, we have got, I, yeah, I think it's pretty clever. We have a piece of Blushing Bride, a cardstock. My comments won't stay on. Why won't they stay on? Yeah, um, Catherine, I love the mini cut and emboss machine too. Uh, yeah, um, <laughs> Cliffy says, I call my, my hometown a mud puddle. Well, there you go. That's funny. Um, that little mini emboss machine is just easier to use. Yeah, I, well, I mean, I wouldn't say easier. It's easier to crank. I will say that. Okay, now I did this yesterday. You guys, I have filmed individual videos for each of these projects. So if you want to come back and watch to see how I did something and to see it even like close up, those videos are on YouTube. And when I did these videos yesterday, I kept forgetting that I'm using this twine on all three projects. And I kept having to go back and get it off the last project tree. So this is the little kind of burlap or tire tread mark paper, again, from the Day at the Farm Designer Series paper, free celebration item. And I have matted it on Blushing Bride. We're gonna take our mud puddle and put that on here like this. I made this card originally back in December for a team training. And I used the little stitch tart from, you know, the stitch tart that I was using like crazy from the um, the tags, you know, the now I can't remember anything from the holiday catalog. It was the tag folded anyway. And I liked that heart better, but I had to change it to this one because that die set has retired as these things do. But this one works two this is the there's a heart punch pack in the annual catalog and this is the solid heart from that now this little card we oh i don't know about you guys but i need a baby card and i don't have one i don't make them i'm not that in that time of my life my friends have already all had kids you know but occasionally i need a baby card and then i can't find one so make a couple of these keep them wherever you keep your cards so you have them when you need them. And this is a unisex. The, you know, pig could be a girl or a boy. <laughs> it does, has pink, but only because it's pigs. So now you can just have it on hand for whenever that surprise, you need a baby card comes up. All right, last thing we're gonna do is get that soft suede card base. And we'll put this right here on the front. This twine, I don't think I said, is the crumb cake crumb cake twine from the Essentials Twine Pack. You could use linen thread as well. All right, one thing I want to do for this piece, this is the white piece that's going to go on the inside. And I'm going to take my uh, stamp and blend and just flick some mud on the inside. <laughs> to carry it over, right? So now it's muddy on the inside and you could even cut out those little pigs and put them there, wouldn't they be cute? And there you go, a baby card, very cute. 
Okay, let's move things over. I've got one more. Man, I'm moving quite quite quickly today. These projects are quick. Hey, and you guys, I want to tell you something. Last week, I told you about a show, right, um, that I had heard about, the Nazi hunters, right? Remember, I told you it was called Killers. I was wrong. <laughs> it's called Hunters, and we watched it this week. Has anybody watched it? It's on Prime Video. I've been waiting all week to tell you guys about this show because I brought it up last week. I'd seen somebody on the Today Show, I think, being interviewed who was in it. And I thought, well, that sounds interesting. We like historical fiction shows a lot. And so we watched it. And I will say I recommend it. But prepare yourself because it is bloody and violent. And it does have flashbacks to all the Nazi World War II stuff. But if you're okay with all that, it is pretty good. So it's on Prime and there's two seasons. And I, we, or we have one episode left in the first season. So if you're looking for something, you know, I have to find stuff that my husband will want to watch too. Because he doesn't want to watch Virgin River or, <laughs> you know, any of those. So we have to find shows that we both like. In this one, there's there's some times where I've had to look away because it's almost too much for me. But because it's historical and because they're hunting bad guys, I'm like, I can handle it. <laughs> so anyways, Call Hunters is on Prime. Um, Amazon Prime. Okay. Yes. Oh, Al Pacino. That's right. Joan, I'm glad you said that. So Al Pacino is in it. And he plays somebody that was in the camps. He was a... Um, prisoner in the uh, Nazi camps in World War II. He's excellent. So good. All right, back to what I was doing. So this, this is what we're going to make, this little box. And I have to show you what's inside. Cow tails, of course. Now I have found these cow tails. These are kind of an old fashioned candy, wouldn't you say? Kind of old timey. I have found these at Big Lots, but these in particular that I ordered are from Amazon. So if you want these, and you don't want to go to Big Lots or you don't have a Big Lots or they probably have them at Cracker Barrel too. You know, Cracker Barrel has a lot of that old kind of old timey candy as well. Um, you can order them. I have them linked today over on my blog. So what I, when I was looking for ideas for this, I um, Googled, I can't remember what I Googled. Oh, I know, cow puns, right? puns and I found something that said heard it's your birthday so that's where I got the idea and I didn't have a stamp that said it's your birthday this this bow is not doing what it's supposed to do but we just so happened to have another celebration stamp that says it's your day so heard it's your day very clever I like a good pun so that's where the idea came from. And you know what? Who, oh, my friend Joey sent me. She made this box. This was also for a training that I did in the in December. She made this box and she, she put on there, heard it's Valentine's Day or something like this. She turned it into a Valentine's box and it was super cute. She sent a picture to me yesterday. So look through your stamps. It doesn't have to be it's your day. It could be heard you're sick. Heard. You graduated, I don't know, but you could just make your own puns, right? Okay, now let's look. On the second page, right here are the measurements. Seven and a half by six inches cherry cobbler. On the long side, you're gonna score it at three, three and a half, six and a half, and seven. And then, suddenly that looked wrong, but it's right. And then on the short side, we're gonna score it at now that's not right. Let me look at my notes. I think I'm, I left one off. Yeah, I did. All right, if you printed this out already, you need to add in a half right there. So half, one, and five and a half. All right, so the box is just half an inch thick. I will fix the PDF. You got all you have to do is add in another score line, half an inch. All right, burnish those lines. Really well. Yeah, you guys tell me if you've seen some shows. Uh, Penny says, I'm making her want to order this set. Uh, you know, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> it's a cute set, and I think it has a lot of versatility. Um, I think it's one of those 
that you'll use throughout the years for occasions, you know. Oh, did I? Oh, I thought I broke my nail, but I did not. It's just makeup or something. I think it's one of those stamp sets that could get a lot of use. Okay, now we have on this side, we have two half inch sections. This on the outside is going to be the tab that we adhere over here. This on along the long side where there's these half inch sections, that's the top of your box. Okay, just to orient you. Now the first thing you're going to do, I just flipped it over. The first thing you're going to do is over here on the side where there's two half inch sections, you're going to cut off the two squares on the end. Actually, this square and both of these squares. Okay, like that. Then just cut the corners off. Now, look down here, this is the, the bottom. It's the um, side that only has one half inch section. So snip these lines like that, like that, okay? All right, now come up here and we're gonna cut off these two rectangles right here. I'm switching over to my big scissors so I can cut straight. And if this is too fast for you, go watch the YouTube recording. It's a little bit slower, you can pause the video. Now right here, we're gonna cut off this square and this square. And when I do, I'm gonna go all the way down to the second score line. Okay, see that? But then I'm just gonna cut off that, that top square. Okay, boop, and then boop. All right, and then just corners off of that. All right, so now let me set it down. If you are watching the recording, you can pause this. <gasps> did it, oh, I thought I did that wrong. If you, um, these little flaps, you always need to cut them from the coming from the long side. If you cut them from this way, it will work too, but it's better to do it from the long side, okay? All right, so if you're watching the recording, you need to pause the video so you can see. There you go. Okay, now take your adhesive, whichever you prefer for your 3Ds, and put it right there along that end tab. Okay. And we're gonna fold that in and fold that in and it'll fit perfectly like that. Now fold your bottom up, fold the back side in, and then we're gonna put adhesive there on the front tab. I like tear and tape for this project because it's skinny and it fits on those little half inch tabs really well. All right, so then I made this box the size for three cow tails and I'm gonna close those sides. And the reason we cut those corners off was so that that will close, that, that would slide in. Okay, make me a liar slide in like that. Why is it not sliding in? Every time it proves me wrong. There we go. Slides right in. <laughs> Just, you know, perfectly. All right. So now we have a piece of the designer series paper. There's that paper I was just talking about with that cute little barn. And we will put that right there. Okay, you know, did I use the plaid on the other one? No, I didn't, okay. Suddenly I was like thinking I used the plaid, but I did not. And again, I put the twine back. You need the twine, all right? Put your twine up here, tie it. And make a little bow. This twine is loosey goosey. I don't, it's not, I don't know, it's like, it's not stiff enough to tie a bow. All right, so there's your box done easy. Now we're gonna cut out the herd using the new alphabet a la mode. Let's see, I need a new set of the adhesive sheets. Alphabet a la mode dies are a must have. They're super cute. I actually have two sets so that I can cut more letters at once. Now, 
the reason I do that is because, you know, I do classes and stuff. But it's not a bad idea to have two sets. It makes it go faster. All right, so this is adhesive or adhesive sheets. I'm going to put the adhesive sheet on the back here of my craft paper. That way my stickers, my... Um, my letters become stickers. Now, you know what? I said I was gonna have to climb back there and get that plate, but let's see, what do I have right here in my drawer? Do I have the plates that I need? Look at that. Oh, will that one work? Mm, let's try that and that. I have a new set right here. I don't know, I don't think that one's gonna work. That's too thin. That's for I don't know. I don't know, guys. I may have to climb back there. Oh, no. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. This is from my other machine. I like to use the gray plates. I don't want to use the white plates. I want to use the gray plates. That one's to add a shim if you need for insert embossing folders. I don't know. I, don't, I hardly ever use the mini machine for embossing folders. But you can. We have embossing folders that fit this machine. Okay, is this right? Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right, so we need the H, the E, the R, and the D. Heard it was your birthday. There we go. There we go. All right, so now Oh, I like when they just come out. Very nice. Two of them did. Then you can use your take your pick tool to get the other ones out. Put them back on your wherever you store them so you don't lose them. Yep, they are. Some days are just like that. All right, so we've got that. Got that. Now we need a cow. You can stamp the cow and you can color it or you can just get the designer series paper and the die and cut it right out. So the die has things, the die set has things that the stamp set doesn't have, right? So like the windmill, the hills, um, the little animals, but then the stamp set has things that the dies don't have, like um, the words, obviously, the trees are the trees. Oh no, the trees do have dies, so there are dies for those. But you know, I like when you have a variety of choices and you're not just, you know, have one set of things. I like when you have things that don't necessarily have to have a stamp or necessarily have to have the die. All right, let's do our little cow. We're going to add some grass down here in garden green. I'm going to stamp and stamp off just a couple times kind of there in the corner. And then I'm going to get my cow and just put him right there. All right. For the letters, I'm going to peel off the adhesive and I'm going to I'm going to just kind of place them there. I'm not gonna press down because I want to make sure that I have enough space and that they're straight. So the adhesive isn't so strong that you're gonna be stuck if you stick that down like that. But if you press it down, it is gonna be hard to get, to get up without tearing it. H E R D heard it's your day. Uh, come on, come on, come on. All right, now I always have trouble, like my spacing is fine, but I want them straight down at the bottom. And the, A, the H kind of likes to stretch out. All right, nope, needs to go up a little bit higher. 
You could get a ruler or your grid paper too would help. All right, I think that looks good enough. Not perfect, good enough. Sometimes that's all we need. All right, Cherry Cobbler is back over here and it's your day. We're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna cut a little skinny strip. But this time, I'm just going to use my scissors because I don't feel like pulling that thing back out. And I'm just going to snip, snip like that. Make it just a rectangle around your words. And I think we probably need many dimensionals. And... We're gonna put that right there, and then we're gonna sandwich that twine. How many dimensionals can you guys hold at one time? I've gotten really good, four. I can't do five, I can do four. <laughs> Talented, right? All right, and there you go. That's a pretty easy project, I think. Um, the dies are something that if you're gonna get this, you know, this uh, catalog period, get them now while you can get celebration items. They are 42, I believe, yeah, 42. So not quite enough to get a celebration item. Um, but if you got this and these, and then like the twine, then you would have either two $50 items or one $100 item. You can get there fast, guys. Pretty fast. All right, now don't go yet. I have a couple more things to show you. Um, so this was yesterday's card. If you want details on that, go one blog post back. This was a swap card, and unfortunately, I don't remember from who. But it's just really simple. The paper and a saying. And then she stamped the other part in right here. I don't know what stamp set these words are from. I'd have to look it up. There are so many ways you might feel right now. Alone shouldn't be one of them. Oh, that's so sweet. This, I believe, is from my downline Heather, I think. Look at that. This is what it looks like. A really fun, fancy fold. And it, you know, that's what it looks like in the front. Isn't that cute? She used the same paper here as that one there. All right. And then this is the card that's going to be on Monday with a video. I'm going to show you how you can add in some real chicken wire to your card with your little chickens. All right, so make sure you come back on Monday for one more idea. And then don't forget, if you want these three projects for free, make and takes, make sure you get your order in by Monday at midnight. You can order anything you want. I don't care what you order. Um, just make sure you use the host code so that I know that you want the projects. When people don't use the host code, I assume they just don't want the projects, okay? All right, you guys, I hope I have pulled you over the edge. Some of you who are like, I didn't want that set. I hope I changed your mind. <laughs> you need it. It's cute. Yeah, adhesive sheets. Pamela, add adhesive sheets. Brilliant. You definitely want adhesive sheets if you are getting the a la mode dies for sure. All right, you guys, next week, we're, you know what, before you guys go, let me show you. Next week, we're doing kind of, a, kind of a mishmash. Um, so, and there's been a, there's been a little problem. <laughs> I hate to even bring it up. The Country Bouquet Punch has gone on back order. And as of right now, it says April 17th. Sometimes that's like the computer generated date. And then Stampin' Up! comes and changes that date. But they haven't changed it. And it's been several days. So I don't know what's going on with this punch. Hopefully next week I will know. I have one project for you next week using that punch. But the other two projects are going to be using the Love For You stamp set. And I'm using them with this gorgeous paper in here that I think you guys need. If you haven't gotten this, Favored Flowers DSP, it is absolutely stunning. Um, you don't necessarily need the stamp set that it coordinates with, 
if you think you have too many flowers. I understand. But I'm going to show you how you can use other stamp sets with it. We're going to use this one and this one. So three card, well, no, one's a 3D. Valentine-ish projects next week. All right. Okay, that's it. What time is it? 3.05. You guys have a wonderful weekend. Let me know if you have questions. And I will see you next Friday. Bye, guys.